Uh, Chiwon ya, pabahi Chihuahua. Hello, everybody with the whole universe. Hope everything is fine. I'm a Russian man who brings solutions to my own experiences. And today we're going to talk about the raw hours of work or black work or the dirt. What do I mean by it? In Russia we have the word черная работа. Черная работа, if we will translate it, it is black work. Black in a meaning that you will be fully in a something like you will go to the some somebody's chimney and because you will be kind of in a dirt and uh, something like this. And uh, why do we use it? It is metaphor, as you may be uh, know, and it is metaphor that uh, used for a work that it is so iteratable, a lot of iterations, the same things, routing and uh, Repetition, 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 and that's all. Nothing new, almost. And we see this as nothing new. But actually, it is something new. But in a relevance with previous experiences, we see that, uh, Jesus Christ, not so big amount of progress and something like this. The same with my English language. I know that I speak really nicely, good, and you can understand me. Sometimes. Sometimes not, because I use a lot of syllables and uh, it is uh, like I, I try to use uh, Wikipedia vocabulary and this uh, this is not super understandable for like uh, people who are maybe natives because uh, in Russia the same way if you will use uh, something like scientific stuff vocabulary not everybody will understand you yes and uh, I I speak English well I understand hearing a lot well really I I sometimes listen to the music and music I understand words and it is a huge progress because I always wanted to understand what they sing about and previously I was listening to the comedies to the podcasts I started to understand comedy I started to understand podcasts and right now I'm on my way that I can understand lyrics sometimes not every time because sometimes you can hear in my head, it is uh, in my head and uh, specific like, a specific pronunciation, but it is uh, kind of right now it is uh, maybe natives even don't understand lyrics sometimes so you go into the Eminem and uh, like lyrics genius checking the same with music. I started to play piano at uh, 2018 July, uh, not July, April to. 28th or 22nd or 21st something like these numbers and I started to learn songs like Gili u babusi dva veselih gusja it is there we are two gooses geese geese yes goose geese like chicken and uh, but in a in a pond and uh, they were living with a granny and uh, I started to learn it and uh, something like this it was easy really it was uh, like twinkle twinkle little little star in a Russian edition kind of and uh, I learned it easily and I was glad. The same I was glad when I played this way of songs and uh, I started uh, to be glad. Jesus Christ, so huge amount of progress. The same with chords. I played uh, C major, then A minor, then G major, then F major, then going to C back again. And uh, Jesus Christ, I played it right now blindly, like I'm not uh, watching it and uh, it is huge progress right now. Yes, and uh, I started to see that uh, in previous time, relatively, I had a lot of progress, really, hugely, every day, huge amount. Right now I see that every day I don't see a lot of results, like I do, but I don't see this, like uh, I play arpeggios, some some Hanon exercises, some Cherny exercises, some playing jazzy chords and something like this, and I don't see it. But I want to kind of glad, I want to make you happy if you feel the same way sometimes that actually we have progress, really. And even when I don't see it, if we will be super aware, we see it. And uh, I noticed it even with my my composing stuff sometimes. Today, today I was sleeping. <laughs> Maybe you too, you too. And uh, I previously we were writing a lot of composing stuff on my uh, this uh, clefs, clefs notations. 
and uh, I wrote a lot of notes and at night I was composing like not uh, Mozart like stuff but I was I remember how I was uh, doing some notes and something counting about it and it's a huge progress in my dreams sometimes uh, really I see the previous experience w was when I started to do writing daily like 10,000 words a day and I noticed that at night sometimes I feel kind of I am typing at night and I mean that while I, I'm dreaming and the same maybe was with a Mendeleev. Mendeleev is the Russian scientist and chemicalist who created the chemical table in night with a legend. Legend or maybe the truth and uh, I understand that it works at night I do this and uh, I see a lot of progress when I do kind of a row, row, row walk, work. Sometimes we don't see it. Sometimes we really kind of don't see that we do this. But actually we do. Actually we do. Because if we will look at today, at today, not like previous experiences, but for today that we can see a lot of huge progress. Yes, yeah, sometimes you need to repeat uh, previous stuff, but by repeating it, you create a lot of different neurons, mailing, mailing, it is a specific uh, kind of, uh, I don't know, how, cables, cables, do you know cables? Cables, it is actually the, the metal, yes, metal specific, uh, it is, I forgot what's the name of it, uh, specific metal with uh, kind of bronze, with a bronze uh, type of color and uh, then it was isolated with the plastic. I don't know what's the name of it, you can see this, it is the cables, yes? And the same with our neurons inside of our head. We have neurons and they are isolated with myelin. Myelin is a specific like uh, thing that makes our neurons work faster and do specific tasks faster. You maybe noticed when you do the same things over and over again, then you can repeat it easily the next day. You don't think about it. You are doing kind of sometimes uh, cleaning your teeth without thinking about cleaning the teeth. You are doing opening the door sometimes without thinking and sometimes you are checking like, uh, Jesus Christ, I went out or not. I closed the door or not. Or maybe iron is uh, on or off right now. And uh, yes, yeah, so we don't... Uh, we, by repeating, we improve our mailin. Mailin, it is a cognitive thing that helps us a lot. The more we practice, the better we are. And uh, about new stuff, how to feel the new stuff. I don't know why I recorded this video. I wanted to share only that the raw work matters, the black work, the dirt matters, and iterations matters. And uh, I wanted to say that I noticed by drawing at... Uh, at this stuff, at clefs, at notations, I noticed that I started to understand it better. I mean that sometimes I look at the somebody else's music sheet, not sheet S H I T S H E E T. It is a music sheet. We call it sheet music. And uh, <laughs> I don't know how to say it. And uh, sometimes I look at them and I can read it easily. Because I was writing. The same with writing. Like writing, sometimes I typing. And sometimes I open books. And I, Jesus Christ, I can read fast. Because not I'm a fast reader. I'm a fast understander. It is as Isaac Asimov said. And uh, the same I feel. I kind of, I was writing about some stuff. And then, oh Jesus, I, I was thinking about it previously. Okay, next pages, next, 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 next. Okay, understand, understand, understand. Okay, good. And the same with composing. Sometimes I write notes, chords, quints, and other stuff. And then I look at the, I look at the materials. And Jesus Christ, so fast, kind of going. I made just inside of my mind. And the more we practice, the better we are. We are. And what I wanted to say, that if you are right now searching for the way how to improve yourself, think about who you want to be, or maybe who you are, or maybe who is your ideal, who is, who is your ideal version of yourself. Yes, think about it. Who are you? And uh, you are maybe 
a singer or maybe showman or dance a dancer or musician or maybe engineer or maybe medical worker or maybe pedagogical worker and think about the main daily routine that this person does and think about how can you do this how can you improve it how can you do this better in a musician stuff it is better it is easy to say like if you do daily practicing of uh, scales even if it is not working kind of you think but it is working it is working if you do scales daily if you do reading daily if you do writing daily then you really actually improve yourself and uh, the same with uh, dancing if you move even if you don't feel the progress you improve your what you already have you make it stronger you have better memory about it why do i th speak about it that you will be improving because i had this experience when i was playing world warcraft game and i remember a lot of experiences when i was farming 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 grinding 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 farming farming grinding farming hustling and something like this and uh, i remember some things really super strictly i mean that strictly in the meaning of super super strong memories because i was repeating it all over again and the same with it sometimes we maybe don't like to repeat all over again but to make it fun sometimes play kind of only to entertain yourself like if you need to learn these things three notes then play it this way play closed like with this play with dancing Play with uh, whistling at the same time, like... <laughs> it's Lord of the Rings, and... Uh, kind of... And uh, try to do this, try to sit down sometimes and do new iterations. Try to think about creative stuff, how can you do this without routine. Sometimes I really do this. Sometimes I play drums with the closed eyes or maybe by shaking on the left hand a shaker and also left hand and shaker on the right hand and sometimes kind of coordination work. And the same with writing. Sometimes I write in Spanish, sometimes I write in English. My Spanish is not good, but I try to do this. Also, I create my new words, my new languages to entertain this imagination, to make it stronger memories and uh, go into the new fields or something. So I, I hope that this video will help to you because I feel it so that I brought to you a lot of good information and go forward, everything will be fine and I'm going forward, I will do, I will continue writing. It is really amazing stuff. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, si, sol, la, la, menor, la, mayor. <laughs> okay, it is ch changing with Espanol. Yeah, como estas? Estoy muy bien. Uh, y uh, todo depende de ti, creo en ti. Amor para ti. Y, y, uh, the, okay, it is a translation. Everything depends only on you in your life. And uh, uh, amor, love for you, guys. And uh, everything will be fine. Go forward. Thank you a lot. See you next time. And uh, let me know in the comment section what kind of videos maybe you would you like uh, to see. Or maybe songs about what and I can create it. Okay, thank you. See you next time. The next time I think that I should show progress or something. Sometimes I don't show it because I you don't see the the buttons. You don't see the keys. Need to kind of to change location of the camera. But uh, I don't have right now tripod. Need to th figure out how to make it seem seemable. Need, or need to buy a tripod. Maybe one day I will do this. I will. So, thank you a lot for watching. See you next time. Go forward. Everything is fine. Bye-bye. Improve something.